Here, I got you this. Aw, thank you. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. To celebrate, we reached out to our Patreon backers and we asked them to send a Valentine's Day note or poem or whatever they wanted to our animals. So today we are going to read all the Valentines they got and give them a little treat. First, I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, several people have been asking whether Ed and I truly love each other because we don't show much PDA on the channel. And while that's an odd question to ask, let me assure you we love each other very much. Ed, hmm, Ed, very Ed, interesting. Ed. Oh, oh no! I've fallen for you and I can't get up. Should we go find mom? Yeah, let's go see what mom's doing. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I like how she's trying to eat it like it's a salad. Yeah. Just mushing her face into it. Yeah, do you want to choose something that's a little easier now that you've made a mess everywhere? Don't eat the fuzzy. Don't eat the fuzzy. <laughs> no. No. That is it. You cannot take bites yeah, out yeah. of a fuzzy. Move her for a second. Right. Yoink! <laughs> Alright, you can have anything else, Legolas. Okay, mash your face into the turkey. That'll work. Oh my oh, gosh. Hey. That's <laughs> oh jeez. So, we put Lieutenant Dan aside, because his section is coming up next, and this is what Ed turned around and saw. That is terrifying. <laughs> Why does she get all the love? Because she doesn't bite us, Dan. Well, she's just gonna take all the turkey to go. <laughs> Freeze-dried chicken. Okay, I'll eat that too, I suppose. I get choices. <laughs> Legolas is just gonna eat all the Valentine's Day chocolates. Yep. Legolas is like Emily. Yeah. <laughs> Sits in one section and eats the whole... We bought this last night. Yep, I emptied it out pretty quickly. Happy Valentine's Day, Legolas! We didn't forget about you, Lieutenant Dan. Do you want your Valentine's Day treat? You deserve one too. I don't Here. think he wants anything except Ooh. to bite you. Okay, Lieutenant Dan, I don't know if you're gonna eat, but uh, enjoy your Valentine's Day treat. Pick something out. You got a Valentine from Babzilla who said, Roses are red, you feed mean. I still think you're cute, let's get some chow mein. And you got one from MSP who said, I want to be your major Tom. No. Aww. Are you gonna I pick don't something? I think he's gonna pick anything. Nope, he's too angry. Yeah. Okay, I'll okay. just. Feed... We'll pick something for him and yeah. give it to him upstairs. <laughs> we'll feed you later. Doug must be very loved because he got quite a few Valentine's Day notes from fans. Yeah, you got four of them. You got four, Doug! Lucky boy. You may have noticed that, and I, since we haven't pointed this out yet on the channel, during quarantine, he somehow managed to bust the glass on his enclosure and he scratched his nose. So we treated him with some antibiotics and it's all healed up, but he does have a scar from that now. Yeah. So that's what that's from. Just figured I'd let you know and darn snakes. Yeah, like, when they constantly push. Yeah, I don't know how he managed to bust the glass, but thankfully he's okay and it's all healed up. But he does have a little scar from that now. Yep. Jeff Sargent sent a haiku for Doug. Doug dreams about rats. Doug is all I dream about. Doug, you are the best. Uh -huh. That's great. That is. Laura Kuzmeski says, Dear Doug, I love you more than tacos. And I don't love anyone more than tacos. Just you. Love, Laura. Sarah Lucchesi says, Please tell any one of your constrictors you are my main squeeze from me. So I figured that could go to Doug. No. Yep. Doug, you're her main squeeze. See, he's a lady killer. Yeah, he is. And last but not least, from Think Tanks to Doug, you tipped the scales of my heart. Let's never be apart. I love your mustache, and so I must ask, will you be mine, Serpentine Valentine? Yeah. Doug says yes. Happy Valentine's Day, Doug. I don't think anything in this heart is going to be big enough for you, though, so yeah. I think we're just going to have to feed him a rat later or something. Yeah, you ate last weekend. You're good. Yep. Surprisingly, our Cuban false chameleons did not get any Valentine's messages this Aww, year. They have to love each other. They do, and they do. So we wrote them a poem instead, or Ed wrote them a poem. Roses are red, a chameleon you are not. You're kind of goofy looking, but we love you a lot. Yeah. Should we see what they want? Sure. Okay, guys. It's a smorgasbord. This is like a buffet. Yeah. Here. Eat your heart's content. There you go. <laughs> I like how they all take one step and then stop. Yeah. What are you going to pick? Where are you going? Oh, there she goes. Well, hi. Wow, she had, had two at once. Wow. Good job, girl. Yeah. Anybody else going to pick a Valentine's Day treat? I don't know, but I made a friend. Yeah, this one climbed right up onto you. Oh. Wow. Oh, more worms. Piggy. I'm gonna just Quit do crawling this. Away. Here, look, look. Oops. Oh, she's gonna get it. Do you wanna get it from that? Oh. Oh. Or you're getting a piece of chicken instead. Nice. That's the dog food. There we go. The freeze, freeze dog food. What are you getting? Oh, there we go. Oh, she wants a giant mealworm too. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Without the, the dog food. <laughs> oh, she didn't like it. Nope. Oh, we'll eat all the worms, they say. <laughs> the worms are the tastiest. Hey! <laughs> guys, guys, guys. <laughs> really? Well, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, happy Valentine's Day, false chameleons. I'm glad you enjoyed your snacks. Tiny's out next. Now it's time for Tiny. Aww. You're a good boy. Yes, yeah, you are. And he wants to be. Yeah, a couple initial strikes, but after that, he's fine. He's like, a fast today. striker at food. I know that. He's so fast. Yeah. yeah, you don't see him coming when he's about to strike. No. Tiny has two Valentines. One from Abby Johansson, who says, you struck your way into my heart. And one from Jordan Blevins, who says, roses are red, violets are blue. Why are we talking about flowers? Feed me. 
<laughs> yeah, that's tiny. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's accurate. So that's like, Tiny's it. Valentine to someone else. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to yes. Us. Oh, that's true. That would be from him <laughs> to us. Yep. Okay, I gotcha. That was a good one. <laughs> Great Valentine's. You're doing really well. Yeah. You're a good boy. We had a photo shoot with him recently with our friend Ryan, and the pictures turned out great. Yeah, maybe we'll see if Ryan will let us use one of the photos in the video. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. The next Valentine is for Mad no -Eyed Moody, and I think the most appropriate thing in here for him would be this fuzzy mouse. It's kind of a small meal for him, but... Yeah, he doesn't get to choose his. Yeah, he'll just get the mouse. Yeah, it's like getting the toffee heart. Yes. Here, Moody. There we go. Nice. Oh, what a good strike. Awesome. Well, what are you doing with it? Are you gonna... He's like, it's mine. Okay. I need to take it. Well, Moody's taking his to go. Yep. And his Valentine was from Shay, who, or Cheyenne, who says, I know you may find my jokes cornea, but I wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Aww. That's cute. I love the puns. All right. Thanks, Moody. Enjoy your Valentine's Day in peace. Chloe doesn't like Valentine's Day. No, she's really angry about yeah. Valentine's Day. But she got a note from Natasha. Oh, <gasps> she doesn't like Natasha, I guess. I guess not. <laughs> Natasha likes you, though. Yeah. Your Valentine from her says, I love you and all of your snappiness. Aw. Oh, she is not impressed. Like, I'll show you snappiness. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I guess she just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Mm, I guess. She's like, you should have gotten me Valentine's Day a week ago. <laughs> Martha got a Valentine too from Alex Linders, who said, "You better ball leave. I want to be your Valentine." Ha uh, ha ha! I think she shied away just there at the pun. She did. But you she, like it, right? She also shied away from your cold hands. I know. I'm sorry. My hands are chilly. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll put you back. The next Valentine was sent by Amanda to our toads and our frogs. So we have our gray tree frog here, who needs a name, and we have one of our American toads out. And I think I think I know what they're gonna like in the box. Yeah. Their Valentine from Amanda said, Hop, your Valentine's Day is totally awesome. Oh, mm, tasty. It. Did he miss it? Yeah, he missed it. Oh, he missed it. Here, try again. Oh, the toad is going to eat. Get it, toad. Oh. Oh. Nice. nice. Good job, toad. How about frog? Would you like a mealworm? Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, you two. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, we just launched on our Teespring store Valentine's Day cards that you can download and print off and give to your friends and family members. And of course, we included a lot of puns like, you're the milk to my cookie and you snake my heart away. I'll put the link to those in the description below if you'd like to check them out. And let's keep feeding. Next up are our Decay's Brown Snakes who got a Valentine from Christy. For them, we have their favorite food in the world, earthworms. Oh, I see a leaf moving. Yeah. Here, Valentine's Day treat from Christy, who says, you're tiny, you're cute, you have tiny little snoots. So little, so sweet, you need all the Valentine's treats. Here, have your Valentine's treat. <laughs> there you go, that was adorable. I love how he opened his mouth and went, okay. <laughs> ah. I bet it's... there's one over here. Do you see something moving? No, it's just they're always under that shell. <gasps> you were right. Hooray. Yep, I need a worm, I dropped it. Here you go. Happy Valentine's Day. They're funny. You have to hold it for 10 seconds, and then you can approach them with it, is what I've learned. And then they ten. can eat it. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, see, it works. I count to 10, and then I approach them. If I approach them too quickly, like I do for garters, they don't want to eat it. Sneak off. Number three is over here. Can oh, you see yep, him? Yep, I can see him. Oh, here comes another one, though. Oh, do you want to steal his Valentine's Day treat? Here. No? Nope. Oh, no. Here, I'll set it there. Eat it when you want it. Yep. I wonder if Timmy the isopod is still in here. Probably. Yeah. Probably breed, breeding. Yep, I bet he is. There you go. Yeah, isn't that tasty? All right. All right. Oh, they're so cute. Well, happy Valentine's Day, guys. One of the things about Valentine's Day is that it's in February, which is when a lot of our snakes are brewmating, but they got Valentine's too. So we're going to briefly, like barely wake them up. We're just going to peek inside and read them. So we are checking on them for the week. Yeah, this counts as checking on them, I suppose. Oh, speaking of which, I can change your water while we're down here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, they're yeah, all... There's a whole pile of hog noses That's in there. everybody that has Valentine's. This is perfect. Okay. Nice. So the lavender here has a Valentine from Allie, who says, Roses are red, your scales are violet. If there are any tasty mice this year, I hope you acquire it. I love yeah. it. Let's see, Charlotte, the albino in here, got two. One from Isla Rogers, who says, I hiss you were here. 
because she's brew mating. I love it. And Liz Bradbury says, your spots are so lovely and your colors so bright. I can't wait to see your babies. Just don't eat them, all right? God, let's hope she doesn't eat babies. Yeah. Don't, don't be like Omnomelet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at those slow tongue flicks. <laughs> They're so cold. Yeah, that's blah, good. Blah, blah, blah. That's Awesome. I love how they all brewmate together just like they would in the wild here. Mm -hmm. All under one one hide. Bacon here has a valentine from Jessica Naylor who says, don't go bacon my heart. Aww. Yeah. You know the crazy thing is even though they are in brumation, they still look like they would eat. Yeah, they probably would. <laughs> especially her. Busty Rhonda, she'd definitely eat. I'm sorry, yeah. I don't mean to wake you up. Here, I'll cover you up. To all the hog noses from Charles Evans. I must resist the urge to boop your puffy cheeks and digging snoot for fierce you are and cobra you be to my chunky friends a valentine from me. And from Jordan Blevins, he wrote a haiku for the hog noses. Oh. He says, my dear hog nose friend, your face may look like shovel, but yet still so cute. <laughs> That's so cool that people wrote haikus. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry to have woken you up. Yeah, they're all like, Food? Yeah. Is not, it food time? Not feeding you, sorry. Happy Valentine's Day, yeah, though. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. As you all know, Omnomelet, our hognose snake who tried to eat her eggs, is brewmating in a separate container because we don't trust her with other hogs. So this is Omnomelet, middle of brumation. Oh yeah, you're really chilly too, aren't you? But you got Valentine's as well, so I'm going to read them off and then put you back, okay? You got one from Liz Walker who says, don't go scrambling for love, you have mine. Mary Hargreaves says, Dear Omnomelet, I too share your love of eggs, and while I have never actually eaten any of my children, I have felt tempted to bite their heads off once or twice. You're right. sincerely a similarly haphazard mother. I love it. And finally, from Mr. and Mrs. Menagerie, Roses are red, violets are blue. Don't eat your eggs, they are not food. Take those words. That is uh, very <laughs> cut and dry. I don't like it. <laughs> They're not food. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, I'm Nomlet. I'll put you back information. Next up is Buck, our scaleless rat snake. He got a couple Aww. from... Aww. Hey, dude. You sleeping? Aww, you sorry. got some Valentine's Day. You do. You have one from Amanda Barrett who says, Tree pythons are green. False chameleons are too. Even though you are naked, I'd love to boop you. Yeah. And from Amy the Cat, really missing you. Oh, everybody misses the cuties information. Yep. Can't blame them, I miss them too. Though I don't, Except for the feeding. Yeah, I don't mind taking a three month <laughs> break from feeding all their hungry yeah, dogs. Yeah, exactly, and cleaning the poops. Yeah. And next we have Stripey, our bull snake, who's in brumation here with a couple of other snakes, with Mr. Wilson and our Trumbauer Trum hypo. There you are. Hey, Hi, Stripey. Stripey. You got a Valentine's from Meryl Stark, who says, I love you more than you love licking the wall. Just like his dad does. Yep. He likes licking inanimate licking objects. Licking everything. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Stripey. Hey, and you too, even though you guys didn't get any love this yep. year. We love you. Yep. Keep sleeping. Peanut, our old but giant bull snake, also got a few Valentines. Uh, he is in the brumation room, but his bin is heated, so he is not in brumation himself. But you got Valentine's. Let's read them off. From Ava Lovorn, you may be old, but never fail to make me smile. And from Tarmy, violets are blue, peanut is red. May we see many more sassy babies from you and bread. Aww. That's cute. Yeah. Got at least one more year in there, right, peanut? I think he does. We should get yeah. another season out of you. Aww, I'm glad we're not brumating him, though. Yeah. He's an old, old man. Yeah. But he can still get the job done. Here you go. Want to go back? Happy Valentine's of I Day. Go back. We were also sent a valentine to just all of the brumating snakes as a whole from Meryl. Bull snakes are red, beauties are blue, and y'all are sleeping, but we love you too. Aww. Happy Valentine's Day! Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, Snickers. We'll see you in a month. Yep. One more month, you're almost there. We have two critters left with valentines, Allie and someone who you're probably going to be excited to see yeah. on this channel. She's been on the channel in a little while. No, she hasn't. Not, not Allie, the, the next animal. Yeah. But Allie is doing great. Mm -hmm. She is our new um, Argentine black and white tegu, and you already have valentines. Yes, yes you, you do. do. Lucky you, girl. Do you want some snackies? Yeah, you can have some snacks out oh. of the heart-shaped box. Look, you can choose so many things. What are you gonna eat first? Animal Diva sent her a valentine. She said, you may be black and white, but you are out of sight. I declare my love for thee because you're one in a million, Allie. Happy Valentine's Day to the best Tegu. Aww. She is the best Tegu. Yes, yeah, she is. She's been great. Oh, she chose. Dog food. Dog food. Oh, she oh, likes that. Scattered it everywhere. Yes, she did. You're gonna eat some heart-shaped strawberries or eggs. 
She's gonna make a huge mess. Yes, she is. Thulfut says, roses are red, gators are green. We want to see more reptile costumes this Halloween. Oh, we could maybe dress her up for Halloween. I didn't even think of that. Wait, is this a Valentine's Day video or a Halloween video? Oh, he <laughs> sent it for Allie specifically for when I post on Patreon for, for Valentine's. Wow, Allie does like strawberries. Yeah. Here, you can have an egg. Oh. Nice. Oh, she likes that. From Hayden Duncan, you've traveled a lot, but no need to fret. You've gained a great home with Emily and Ed. Oh, thank you, Hayden. Thank you, guys. Those were great Valentines for Allie. Aw, oh, she really likes eggs. Yeah, she ate that whole thing. Yeah, she did. Yeah, that's who I put the egg in for originally, yeah. and then Legolas destroyed Legolas it. like, I guess I can eat the egg yeah. and actually just mush it up. Yeah, do you want the other oh, wow. egg in there? Oh, wow, she likes strawberries a she lot. She does. Wow, you're not going to get them that frequently, girl. They're no, not they're that good for you. Yeah. You're such a good girl, Allie. Missed. Oh. There you go. Nice. Now you got it. <laughs> Do you like cooked eggs? Oh, yep. I think Allie likes everything. Yeah, I don't think Allie has something she doesn't like. Yeah, she's just eating everything in the box. Yep. Aww, oh, is it a That was Aww. adorable. Don't eat plastic. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make a mess. Okay, you don't need more strawberries. Nope. Oh, they're my strawberries. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you claimed those. She just won't get strawberries Holy for a while. Wow, she likes strawberries. Maybe we'll have to do a video where we like test all of her favorite foods. Yeah, let's we'll see if we can do a video where she gets to pick the food she really likes. Yeah. Which it might be strawberries. It might be. Or grasshoppers. I'm gonna move my finger. She knows there's a strawberry in there. Yeah, I'm gonna lick up the egg. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, I'll get her the last little bit of strawberry. And I'm just gonna eat all the turkey. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh, girl. Alright, that might be enough of her. Enough yep. of her. Let's give her okay. the strawberry that's been soaking in yolk and then she's good. Yep, this is your last piece. You're not getting fruits for a while, girl. Well, there you go. I guess Allie is uh, fed. Yes, there you go, Allie. <laughs> Thank you for pretty much cleaning up the rest of that yeah. heart. I'm glad we did her somewhat last. Yeah, she kind of destroyed the heart. <laughs> she did. So. Happy Valentine's yeah, Day, happy I guess. Happy Valentine's Day, Allie. <laughs> And 20 minutes later, we have the last star of the show. We've got Rex. She didn't want to come out of her room. No, no she was she didn't want to come very out. comfy in her room. She was. But you have Valentines from people. Yeah, we've got to read your Valentines. You've got a Valentine from Terra Tiger Studio saying, You're one in a million, crocodilian. That's cute. And Emily K says, I'd snap at the chance to be your Valentine. <laughs> from Apollo Slack to my dearest darling Rex, you don't have to destroy your pool just to flex. Yeah, she does. Yes, yeah, she does. In her she eyes, she does. Time. Kira, who's 10 years old, sent Rex a Valentine. She says, roses are red, violets are blue. Why do you keep destroying your pool? <laughs> Why do you keep destroying your pool, yeah, Rex? Rex? you know there's water in there. <laughs> and last but not least, we have from Joe Miller, who wrote a poem. Gorgeous Rex, we love your wonky upturned nose, your big strong tail and pointy toes. You're playing when the lights go out and how you fling your toys about. Your start in life was tough and sad, but now you have the best mom and dad. This Valentine's, you really are loved by millions. Our beautiful, wonderful crocodilian. Yeah. Whoa, those are all awesome Valentine's. There they are. Gosh, they're creative and they're thoughtful, and all the Valentine's that were sent in. Like, we had over a hundred, and they were. 100 submissions on Patreon, yeah, so I'm sorry we weren't able to read all of them today, but you were all so kind to write so many. Valentine's to all of well, our critters. We had some that were like more generic, right? Yeah, I do have a couple here that were, were more generic like for the end, so I figured I'd read those. This is from April Minor. To the reptiles of Emily and Ed, strike not for foods but for love instead. From Pretzel, the Ball Python, and Family. Aww. That's cute! We've got from Kimberly Wetchell to all the animals at Snake Discovery. Most of you may be cold-blooded, but you warm all of our hearts. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That's, That's creative. Cool. Yeah. And we have two more that we're able to read today because yeah. I don't want the video to be too long. And um, I'll show you what we're doing with the rest later. I'm sure Rex is happy. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. We'll make this quick. I know. Happy Valentine's Day. From Russica. Bull snakes and hognose, corn, rat, and fox. The love for snakes can't be put in a box. False water cobras and decays, tree pythons and more. All these snakes we truly adore. That's cute. Yeah, it is. From Steffi Eaton, Snake Discovery Crew, you've stolen my heart. From the first moment I saw you, it was love from the start. From the snakes and lizards to Rex and Cheyenne, spiders and turtles, and Lieutenant Dan, I love watching your antics and seeing you grow. You mean so much to people, more than you know. So this Valentine's Day, please let me say it with pride, Emily and Adam always on your side. That's 
so sweet. Oh that my is. gosh. You're so nice, everybody. Uh, you're also talented. You're very talented and creative, and the rhymes you came up, the poems you came up with, I wouldn't have been creative enough to come up with those. <laughs> so kudos, guys. And since there were several more that were also submitted, I'm going to put them on the screen here so you can read through them if you'd like. There were some uh, really, really fun submissions. I'm sorry again that we weren't able to include all of them in today's video, but thank you Patreon backers for sending all of those lovely Valentines to our animals. It definitely made this holiday special, even though Rex does Doesn't not really approve. approve. No. no, she does not approve. Yeah, she's like, just just let me go. Here, Put just, me back in my room. I'll scratch your head. You I'm like so that. mad. Yeah, here, I'll give you all the head scratches for Valentine's Day. We fed her yesterday and came up with this, or we fed her two days ago and came up with this idea yesterday, so we just fed her, so I can't feed her on today's video. Yep. But I'll give you all the head scratches. How about that? Yes, that's what we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, everybody, from our Patreon backers to everyone watching our videos, and happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Rex.